Let's go to Russia now, where Vladimir Putin says the country has passed the peak of its coronavirus infections. There are more than 362,000 confirmed cases there. But despite having the third highest number of cases in the world, Russia's death toll is low at 3,800, in comparison to the number of deaths in the UK, which is more than 10 times that. Let's get more now on this. Our Moscow correspondent Steve Rosenberg sent this report. Well, so far in Russia, there have been more than 360,000 confirmed coronavirus cases. That makes Russia the third most affected country after America and Brazil. But the daily increase in infections, the number of new COVID cases, that does appear to be slowing. And certainly the message from the Kremlin is the situation here is stabilizing. And to prove that point, this week, President Putin went back to work in the Kremlin. Today, he said that the virus had passed its peak in Russia. He also announced that the Victory Day parade, postponed earlier this month because of the pandemic, would take place next month on June the 24th. Now, although the number of coronavirus cases here is quite high, the mortality rate is low. According to official statistics, fewer than 4,000 people in Russia have died from the virus. And in fact, the Russian government paper today spoke about the, the Russian miracle and said that Russia had passed the coronavirus test better than other countries. But there is some skepticism about the figures. And there are reports that not all COVID-related deaths in Russia have been included in the official statistics. That's our Moscow correspondent Steve Rosenberg reporting there. Well, earlier I spoke to Dr. Melita Vujinovic, the World Health Organization's representative to Russia. I raised the issue of counting COVID-related deaths with Russian officials saying there are no deaths at home. WHO is not here to control or to check, but what I do know after three years in Russia is that very few people from any disease die at home. Uh, it is a national issue to bring the people to hospital to try to give um, as much possible, possible care um, as it is. And there is a very strict regime of uh, autopsies. Do you, do, you believe, do you believe these numbers? Uh, we have no reason to check uh, anything differently or to say anything what differently. Sort of access the then, what sort of access do you have? I mean, how can you verify? If you, if you have no reason to believe differently, how can you verify these numbers? Well, the World Health Organization is not controlling any country. We are not controlling the UK. We are not controlling Slovakia, which has a similar number of deaths. We are not controlling Russia. We have access uh, to databases uh, when they are shared with us. We have... Uh, possibilities uh, to ask questions when that is needed, not me personally, but of course uh, the technical departments which are discussing with Russia. Uh, Russia I has suppose the skepticism, uh, you, you've, you've spoken there about the, the United States, about Britain, about the, the numbers in these countries. The United States is, is reaching a no, milestone no, of 100,000 here in the United, UK, United where, United where well States. over 30,000. Russia is the third most affected country. Uh, it, it accepts that, that uh, it has uh, almost 400,000 people who have been affected by coronavirus, yet when you compare that to the death toll, uh, the death rate, it, it, is, it doesn't seem to match up. Uh, it is a very good question and uh, it has to be analysed, I think, for scientific purposes. Uh, it will be very important. If we know that Russia has tripled its tests uh, in a month to 9 million and that 40% of cases are asymptomatic or mild cases, that only 15% of those who are uh, these, uh, sick are above 65 years of age because the cocooning of elderly started early. These might be some of the elements that can explain it, but definitely, of course, I do believe that the scientists will look into it. I mean, I, I suppose you say that you have no reason to question these numbers and the official numbers being given to you, but Russia doesn't have a very good track record when it comes to transparency. Uh, well, according to WHO and collaboration with WHO, uh, we have seen very good collaboration uh, with regard to uh, strengthening the health information system over the last years, uh, sharing data, looking into mortality. There have been uh, major technical exchanges going on. So based on this track record that we have seen uh, in collaboration with the Russian Federation, as I said, the WHO has not uh, been mandated to raise such concerns, nor does it uh, change anything because the figures are officially reported. That was Dr. Melita Vujinovic, representative of the WHO in Russia.